All right, I want to talk about the Yankees for a minute because this has yeah. been like, you know, such a hot topic. Despite this high vaccine efficacy, we're going to see breakthrough infections. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, we're looking at nine. Uh, I believe the latest number I saw was nine, but only one person had symptoms. No one got sick. So is this actually what protection looks like among vaccinated yeah. people? So there are two take home messages here. Number one, this is a vaccine success story. When you vaccinated people and you have only one sick person and they weren't that sick and they weren't in the hospital and they, they didn't die, that, that's vaccine success. That's what we, that's what we want. Um, obviously, we would, don't want people to get COVID-19, but you know, preventing the worst outcomes and then taking the, 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 the fangs and claws away from COVID-19 and turning it into its boring cousin, the common cold, is, is the goal. The second point is this, that we could argue, and I, I'm arguing this um, based on the science, that people who've had the J&J &J shot, which is what the Yankees had, um, uh, should maybe wait four weeks after their shot to get the full protection from the vaccine. Um, but you know, as we know, there's no, no on-off switch for our immune system. We are more and more immune every day post-vaccination. But again, the main takeaway from the Yankees is this is a vaccine success story. We can expect breakthrough infections. They will happen, but it doesn't, it doesn't matter as much, right, when it's a cold and not putting someone in the hospital on a ventilator. 